Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today, I'm going to talk about my Kubota 21 bin uh, storage set. And as you saw in my last video, I was really anticipating the arrival of these and I finally got the rest of them in. I have nine of them in total, nine sets, which are going to be featured on a, uh, another project in the near future, uh, as soon as I get time to make it. So uh, anyway, just want to talk a little bit about this, a little review basically. So, uh, like I said, it's 21 bins, so there's 12 large ones, two rows of six, and one row of nine small ones. It comes in this box, it says Kubota on the box, it was from Princess Auto, and Princess Auto also has another one um, under their Power Fist brand, and that one is a, uh, a little bit larger. Um, it has, it's got like a five bin set up and it's a different color. Um, but I'm not going to use that one, I'm just going to use these. So, let's open the box and I'll show you what's inside. So this is how it's shipped, just in a box like this. And these things, let's talk about the features of these. They're interlocking, right? So they come apart and they have these little locks on them, locking tabs. They're actually pretty easy to put in if you're facing that direction. <laughs> Let's put it in properly. Let's put it in properly. There, see that wasn't so bad. Alright. So, they're interlocking, they're stackable, um, they come apart, right? So you can stack all your small ones up together or all your big ones or mix them up, it doesn't really matter. Um, they're wall mountable, they have on the back, there's a variety of different screw holes that you can use, or you can just drill a hole right through them and punch it right into the wall, that works too. That's probably what I'll do. Okay, uh, they have large finger pulls, so they're easy to get your fingers onto. I have these other ones, and they're tiny. Like, the little thing is tiny. How am I supposed to get your fingers on that? I open these with a pair of pliers. That's why. I've got a bunch of these, and they suck. So, as much as I like the, the bins, these tilt-out bins are way cooler, and look how easy it is to grab them. Even the small ones, which is super simple. I can fit my fingers on them. So they're tilt-out. The bins are removable, so you can actually take them out relatively easily. And putting them back in is actually pretty easy too. Um, not so much this way. Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright. And they have label slots on them. Right? Right up at the top here. Um, what I do sometimes is I actually just tape. Um, say for example. Here's another one. It's got screws in it. Inside I've just taken the top of the box. I've cut it off. It has the label on it. And I've just taped it inside. Which is what I might do with these. Pretty easy. It's neater than my handwriting. Okay, so let's talk about the small bin. The small bins are one three quarter inch high. That's the inside measurements. So the inside dimensions. One three quarters inch deep and two inches wide. So good for small components. The bigger ones, the larger bins, they're not super big. They are the inside dimensions two and three quarters inch high, uh, two and five eighths deep, and three and one eighths wide. All right. And then the outside dimensions of the whole thing, the uh, actually the whole thing, the outside dimensions are twenty three and a half inch wide, and they are twelve inches deep or twelve inches high. Sorry. Now. The 9 bin section is, like I said, 23 and a half inches wide, 3 and 1 8 inches high, and 2 and a half inches deep. And then the bottom part, the larger bins, are 23 and a half inches wide, uh, 4 and 3 8 inch high per section, and then 3 and 3 quarters inch deep. Alright? So, I'm pretty, uh, pretty stoked about having these. Um, it's going to change the way I do things and probably the leftover cabinets that I have. I've got these other cabinets, probably pretty heavy. 
But I have this other style cabinet. The old school ones. And it's they're good, but you know what? Like a lot of these are broken because they're really thin. And uh, you know, I can't uh, grab a hold of them anymore. And the newer ones that I've got are really small, so I can't get my fingers on them at all. So I'm probably going to retire these. I might uh, make a little project for a friend of mine who's helped me out in the past and uh, try to make something cool for him and give him these. So that'll be another video. Anyway, so so far I really like them. They're, you can configure them any way you want. Like you can put all your small ones together and put your big ones together. It doesn't really matter what you want to do. You can mix and match. And you can even, if you wanted to, put the small ones on the bottom and set the big ones on top because they're all the same locking system. All right, can't do that from the back. You have to do it from the front. So the locking system isn't super strong. So I wouldn't want to support the weight of these based on the other ones. I would want to put screws in each and every one of these. Maybe the small ones you'd get away with, but uh, the bigger ones, yeah, put a couple of screws in each one because it's not going to be strong enough with the little clips that they have on them. They're nice, they keep them lined up, but that's basically all it's good for. So like I said, I got these from Princess Auto. The price. Well, the price on the three, right? The, the whole unit, the regular price is $35, and that's in Canadian, so um, if you get this from a different supplier, you might be able to save a little bit of money, or if you're buying from the States, I don't think they have an affiliate store down there, but uh, I got these on sale, and these were $25 a piece, basically, per set, so it's a little pricey, and then it was like a Cyber Monday sale. And then I got another discount and I got free shipping and a bunch of other stuff. So it was a good deal for me per se, because even these old ones, they'll cost you, you know, $20, $25 for the bigger ones anyway. So it's not, uh, it's not really an outrageous price for the product. So anyway, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, like I said, I'm going to feature these in another video soon, as soon as I get uh, this all taken apart and then uh, figure out how I want to set all these up. So, like I say, I've got nine boxes of them, which total, I think the measurement was uh, three feet high by six feet wide, if I can figure it that way. So, <laughs> that's quite a bit. It's a lot of storage. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and. Uh, Hopefully see you guys soon.